एवरी वन माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स एंड माई व्यूवर्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन माई सर्जरी ऑनलाइन क्लास लास्ट टाइम वी हैव डन विद द एनाटॉमी पार्ट ऑफ स्प्लीन टूडे लेक्चर इज ऑन स्प्लिनो मैगली एंड स्प्लिनेक्टॉमी द स्प्लीन इज अ ब्लड फिल्ड ऑर्गन लोकेटेड इन द अपर लेफ्ट एबडोमिनल कैविटी इट इज अ स्टोरेज ऑर्गन फॉर रेड ब्लड सेल्स एंड कंटेन्स मैनी स्पेशलाइज वाइट ब्लड सेल्स कॉल्ड मैक्रोफेजस द डिजीज फाइटिंग सेल्स The spleen is part of the immune system and also removes old and damaged blood particles from the system. The spleen helps the body identify and kill bacteria. The spleen can affect the platelet count and red blood cells also white blood cells. Spleen is a major blood filter responsible for removing old damaged blood cells as well as storing red blood cells and platelets that help the blood to clot. now the major highlights of spleen function spleen helps in destruction of blood cells it is a reservoir of blood and the major part is it helps in defensive functions now the spleen is the largest organ in the body lymphatic system and it performs a number of important functions that we have already taken but when spleen gets enlarged the spleen doesn't carry out this functions efficiently and which can result in poor general health splenomegaly is defined by increased splenic dimensions and volume spleen diameters averaged over 13 cm and an area above 45 cm or weight above 400 g are considered splenomegaly splenomegaly can be classified into three categories mild moderate and massive Splenomegaly is termed as massive splenomegaly when it reaches beyond umbilical crosses midline into pelvis in dimensions when it is more than 8 cm and in weight it is more than 1000 g now let's understand the etiology or the reasons for splenomegaly that is enlarged spleen just remember three points the three primary causes are congestion infiltration and proliferation of the spleen congestion of the spleen could be due to the reason like cirrhosis of the liver or pancreatitis of pancreas in cirrhosis of the liver there are important clinical features like jaundice varices and spider angiomas in pancreatitis severe epigastric pain radiates to back this is the very important clinical feature infiltration of the spleen could be due to the malignancies like lymphomas leukemias metastatic solid tumors and also the depository diseases like amyloidosis and sarcoidosis as the spleen grows bigger it filters both normal and abnormal red blood cells so improper infiltration can cause deposition of cells proliferation of spleen could be due to the reasons like bacterial infections in case of tb viral infections like hiv and cytomegalovirus fungal infections and parasitic infections like malaria autoimmune disorder such as rheumatoid arthritis could also be the reason drug reactions can also cause splenomegaly trauma for example from a car accident can also leads to splenomegaly now let's focus on the symptoms of splenomegaly feeling full without eating or after eating only a small amount this results from a enlarged spleen pressing on the abdomen that is on stomach other symptoms could be decreased blood flow problems resulting from portal hypertension or congestive heart failure repeated and frequent infections frequent feeling of tiredness and fatigue weakness lethargy and loss of weight easy bleeding due to low platelet count which can cause quick bruising nose bleeds and gum bleeding there will be frequent infections due to poor immunity because of the depletion of wbcs and there will be low level of rbcs and low hemoglobin level an enlarged spleen carries a higher risk of being damaged and a rupture is especially dangerous in diagnosis physical examination is must and it is the most practical and cost effective method laboratory investigations need to perform are complete blood count with differential platelet count and peripheral blood smear 
Imaging examination need to recommend a MRI, CT scan and ultrasound of the abdomen. If the treatment doesn't respond, the only way left is splenectomy, removal of the spleen. It is a surgery to remove the entire spleen, a delicate fist-sized organ that sits under the left rib cage near the stomach. Spleen is an important part of the body defense system. It contains special white blood cells that destroy bacteria and helps the body fight infections when you are sick. If only part of the spleen is removed, then it is called partial splenectomy. Splenectomy is must to do in cases like blood disorders like sickle cell anemia, hemolytic anemia, idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura and polycythemia vera. Other than this, the conditions like when the spleen gets damaged from any injury, an enlarged spleen or ruptured spleen which can occur from trauma, and certain rare blood disorders, cancer or large cyst of the spleen, or in case of high infections, splenectomy is must.